Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we'll be talking about a new one of my favorite books. It is The Seven Pillars of Statistical Wisdom. Why statistics? Because my introduction to statistics in, let's say, recent years, so I studied a little bit of statistics when I was doing my computer science degree, but the more I went into machine learning and AI, you start to have to deal with a lot of statistical concepts because a lot of machine learning, uh, I mean, statistics is one of the, let's say, two or three foundations of machine learning next to computer science and, and mathematics. And when you learn about these statistical ideas in the, let's say, in your journey to learn machine learning, a book like this is very interesting because it pulls out these threads of statistical ideas um, and it puts them into historical context. It's a very accessible book. Uh, we'll go into exactly the seven uh, ideas. But what the book does is to say, these are seven major ideas of statistics that are foundational to statistics as we know it today. And then built on top of these seven is a lot of other statistical ideas, but also machine learning and AI sort of come uh, on top of this structure of statistics. I love this book because it's very accessible. It's easy to pick up and, and learn uh, and read. It's not explaining the ideas in sort of mathematical um, ways. It's, it's a really smooth way of storytelling the origins of these ideas, how they developed, the people around them, and the kinds of problems that they were trying to solve when they came up with these, let's say, revolutionary methods. So as somebody who's maybe didn't have the best time with the statistics textbooks uh, back in school because they went right into, uh, you know, when you toss a coin a hundred times or a, or a thousand times, you, what happens? And that's a very important and sort of um, rigorous understanding of statistics. Uh, but this is a very sort of human look at looking at the history of those ideas, those main, extremely important and that you can maybe take for granted now if you don't see them in the proper historic light that this book puts them in. So let's get into the seven pillars of statistical wisdom and see what those seven are. So this is the seven pillars of statistical wisdom by Stephen Stiegler. It's a very small book and it's very easy to go about. There are a bunch of visuals on there highly really good sort of storytelling style of, of, of the book but then what are the seven so the seven ideas or the seven pillars that a lot of modern statistics is uh, built on top of one is aggregation from tables and means to least squares information its measure and rate of change likelihood calibration on a probability scale intercomparison within sample variation as a standard, regression, so multivariate analysis, Bayesian inference, and causal inference, design, experimental planning and the role of randomization, and residual, scientific logic, model comparison, and diagnostic display. Now, for me, I would say the three that I sort of most enjoyed were aggregation, information, I really want to spend a bunch more time on likelihood, uh, but regression was also extremely important. So aggregation is basically the idea that you can gain more information sometimes by throwing away information that you have. So let's say an average, if you have 100 measurements, you can average them to have only one number, and that number tells you something that maybe the 100 don't tell you, and with that you can gain more information. The intro chapter explains these in, in, in a very good way. Aggregation is the combination of ideas. So you gain, you can gain information by throwing information away. And that is sort of revolutionary. The second pillar is information. So information measurement. And that's the idea that if you have 20 measurements of, let's say, a phenomena, and then you have you, you go out and take 20 more measurements, you're not doubling the information that you have. The first 20 actually gave you more information than the second 20. 
and that's the square root uh, of the number n of observations. Likelihood is the calibration of inference with the use of probability. Intercomparison, which is the idea that you can gain some insight by comparing uh, a data set to itself. Intercomparison is the fourth pillar. The fifth is regression. And the idea here is to get from Galton's uh, ideas about regression to the mean and how that sort of uh, explains some of the questions raised by uh, Darwin's theory of evolution. Um, and from regression to the mean, you have concepts like regression in, in prediction. So the work, in fact, introduces modern multivariate analysis. Design of experiments is the sixth pillar. And then the seventh is residuals. To paraphrase these seven ideas, uh, the author puts these lists, which is what is the value of targeted reduction or compression of data? So that's aggregation. The diminished value of an increased amount of data. So your first 20 is maybe has more information than your second 20. Um, how to put a probability measuring stick to what we do, that is likelihood. Uh, how to use internal variation in the data to uh, help in that. How asking questions from different perspectives can lead to revealingly different answers. That will be regression. And then the essential role of the planning of observations, so how you design experiments and, and the importance of, of being careful in that and how all these ideas can be used in exploring and comparing competing explanations in science. So this has been a quick look to the seven pillars of statistical wisdom, very readable uh, intro to very interesting and important statistical ideas, highly recommended. I've been going over it and I plan to spend even more time with it. Curious to see what you think about it. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.